Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody all over the world. I would like to talk to you today about the energy situation in the world with a special emphasis on the situation in Germany. And I also would like to give you an outlook for the future, what we can do in the future to make a better usage of our energy which we have available. Okay, let us start with our first slide, which we can see here. That is the Earth's energy balance. Here you see the immense power which the Earth is receiving from the Sun. 4.6 10 square 24 Joule per year is coming down to the Sun, from the Sun to the Earth. And we are only, the energy which is emitted by the Sun on one day would supply the energy needs for the whole world for almost 30 years but we are not using it because we are not smart enough to use this energy for the mach what we are really using is only 0.005 percent of the solar radiation that is the mechanical energy conversion made by the humans which we are using that's very little so in fact we have to look with our magnifier to see what's going on and how much energy we are not using, which we are getting from the sun automatically and every day. So, that's very important to know. Then now we come to the used energy, which is, for example, we have fossil energies and we have so-called renewable energies. The renewable energies were the first. Actually, they started here with traditional biomass long before some millions of years ago they started. And then later came the coal and the oil and also the gas. So these three energy carriers, oil, coal and gas, are at the moment what we call fossil energies. And here we have them added together, fossil fuels. In comparison, the renewables are very small, just a very small amount, and they come from wind, biofuels, and solar energy, and also nuclear energy, and hydropower. This is the power from the landscape, where we have a, a lake or something in the mountain, and we use a power plant here on the foot of the mountain. So again, the fossil fuels are very huge compared to the renewable and the speed, the increase of the use of fossil fuel was rather fast. The fastest was here from the 1960 to 1970. So now we come to Germany and we must look up the you must look up the country Germany here on our globe. So here's a globe turning this way around. And then we come to Europe. I cannot even find it myself. Here Italy, Spain, France. And here this tiny little spot, that's Germany, my hometown, uh, my home country. My hometown is Hamburg. That's United Kingdom. Italy, we already mentioned, Greece. Turkey and here's the big Russia, the biggest country of the world, India, China and the, also the Philippines are here. On the other side, United States of America and Canada, Mexico and South America. And now we come back to Germany. So this very tiny little country is using a high amount of a high power grid, the German electrical power grid is reaches 4.8 times from the Earth to the Moon or 40, 44.8 times around the equator of the Earth. So that's a lot. And we will demonstrate you this now. We will, here's our globe, although our assistants are helping us. To show you how we go from the Earth to the Moon, that's 
normal average distance of 388,000 kilometer and then we go up to the moon and this moon is circling around the earth so we have the first connection from the earth to the moon that's 388,000 kilometer then we go back again number two You must imagine, only to supply this little country, Germany, with electricity, we have such a big, we have such a big uh, amount of cable and wires and porcelain, is isolator and everything. So now we have how many? 4.8 Four. Four times. Okay, you count. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. 4.8 4 times, times the distance between, between Earth and the Moon. Wow, that's immense. Thank you very much. It's a very important demonstration. I hope the people will not forget. So when we know this, when we know that, and when we know that, then we come now to the solution, because there is a solution, and I call this our personal power provider, 3P+. That's my proposal. Here we have our little house, and the house is on the property and we can provide all, everything which we need from this house for this house from the property so we have maybe hydropower we have maybe biomass we have geothermy we have solar power wind energy or even new sources which we don't know today everything is possible it also it's different it's different a solution here in the philippines to, to a solution in canada and the solution in germany will look different to one in korea so we must be flexible and but we must use everything we have on the property and then we have our little box here in the in the annex and then this is what we need we need some lights we need electronics we need something for the computer we have the the range the cooker we hit the heating and the air conditioning. Here we have our fan, low voltage electricity, something for heating and cooling I already mentioned. And also we can drive our car from this energy which we get from our property. And then we don't need any grid electricity and we don't need any gas or oil pipes. We don't need any supply. And we are not dependent from different countries and different monopolies. So I hope one day we will be smart enough that we are able to, util to utilize these energies and I wish you all that you can help us achieving this high target. Thank you very much. Bye bye.